Hello guys, it's my first face-to-face -face video using my new mic. Um, so today we're just going to go over first year medical school is actually like. Um, so I'm Leo, uh, going into my third year of medical school in September, which is in two weeks. I go to University of Manchester. I started, started medical school back in 2018. Just going to go over what it's like, uh, what to expect, because I didn't really know going, going there what it was like and what to expect. So we're going to start off by going over what happens when you first join medical school. This is from my own experiences, so it may be different at different universities. I'm then going to go over how the course is structured throughout the year and I'm also going to go over like the exams and clinical placements, all the exciting stuff. This is my first face-to-face -face video. If you want some more university and medical school related vlogs as well as gameplay, because I do gameplay as well, um, be sure to subscribe. Um, I'm trying to hit three subscribers. <laughs> so yeah, you can be my third subscriber. Third subscriber right there. So, this is for me back in September 2018. We'll start with the first week. So I moved into halls, I was in halls for the first year. Um, and the very first week of medical school is actually a little bit different. It's like an introduction week, so you don't actually have any work to do. We have a little bit. What sort of introductions do you, do, do you get? You have a few lectures about what the course is about and how it's structured basically. Basically what I'm telling you, but in more detail. Um, you also get inductions for stuff for, for the uni I go to. We do live or full body dissections. So it's basically collecting your lab coat, um, going over like the rules and how an anatomy session works. Just kind of interesting. Um, yeah, I think you had to sign away some signs and forms. So this is this is during Freshers Week. Oh, you had we had a practice PBL course. So for those of you who don't know what PBL is, it's what a handful of medical schools use PBL to teach. It's quite it's quite an interesting, quite an interesting style of teaching. But I'll do I'll do another video on how what what PBL is and how how it really works in another video. So be sure to subscribe. You're my third subscriber. Okay, there's an introduction week. It's probably the same for every single course, to be honest, very briefly. So right, I'm going to do a big overview now of the structure of the course. There are no terms, because I remember there were three terms. In university, there's two semesters, so the year is basically split into two, two halves. And after every semester, so you have exams. So unlike college, where well, A-levels, where it's right at the end, you have your exams. You have exams every semester. Yeah, so it's structured. In semesters two of them and for us each semester had a sort of theme so the first semester was like life cycle or something so we did about like ovarian cycle and puberty and all that kind of stuff well, I didn't find it the most interesting semester um, the semester after that was cardio respiratory sort of as a theme uh, obviously what we learned was very broad uh, uh, broadly related to that so that was kind of interesting I found that a little bit more interesting to be honest. And this is a structure past first year, so second year is very similar to first year. You have the two semesters with themed semesters. Very similar, a little bit different, but kind of similar. I will cover second year in another video because I think it requires a whole video. Subscribe. Okay, so we said there's two semesters. So what do you do in these semesters? So a semester lasts anywhere from about eight to twelve weeks I believe around ten weeks um, so in each week you have a PBL case so what is this PBL week so at the beginning of the week you get a set of PBL case you get a booklet at the beginning of the semester has all the PBL cases in you go through one in your PBL group of about ten people you have lectures throughout the throughout the week sort of linked to the case questions you make in the first PBL session at the beginning of the week and then at the end of the week you have a come back together and you discuss what you've found out and you make notes on stuff you didn't learn and that you need to revise um some of it's a bit tedious but it works so it works quite well gives a bit of context to what you're learning so you have these two pbl sessions one at the beginning of the week one at the end of the week and in between you have these lectures so i'm trying to remember i remember in first year there were less lectures so uh, i was quite lucky because a lot of the like all the lectures are recorded online so you can actually just if you can't be bothered to turn up in the lecture theatre, then you can just watch them on two times speed online. 
which is quite good. Um, they don't they don't record attendance for that, but they do record attendance for everything else. I think they're quite strict on attendance. So alongside these lectures and PBL that you have in the in a week, and there's there's ten weeks in a semester, we had something called CSLC or consultation. I don't remember what it stands for, but uh, but it's basically practice consultation skills. So this is a bit weird to start off with, but there's actually actors that you practice talking to. So in the first year or first semester of the year, they are quite keen on just you getting used to talking to these actor patients. Semester two, three, four, and all through second year, they introduce clinical exams that you practice in these sessions. So like a neurological exam, cardiovascular exam, like all that is when these sessions are where you learn a lot of it and you practice them uh, but in the first semester of the first year it's just getting used to talking to patients so it's not not a lot of pressure so and we're going to talk about anatomy now so the first first anatomy session was obviously just an introduction where they teach us how all the tools work and like that we have to wear our lab coats and everything inside these sessions and just getting us used to ca the cadavers because it's a room full of dead people it's a bit strange you do get used to it quite quick it does smell a bit weird a formaldehyde so you have one anatomy session a week uh, this is about two and a half hours I believe so at the beginning of the week you get set an anatomy workbook which doesn't have everything you need to know but it kind of gives you a bit of guidance about what you're meant to learn about this uh, anatomy wise through the uh, week so the, the anatomy is usually vaguely based around the case and PBL a lot of it's just cutting up the cadavers and there are a lot of pro sections so it's pretty much you turn up to the anatomy session you've already learned everything because um, you've done all the reading this is literally just being able to touch touch the parts of the anatomy that sounds weird um, and there's a demonstrator so you and groups of about eight surrounding a cadaver and you each get each group gets allocated one so you dissect and it's quite it's quite interesting um, so on top of anatomy you we had something called phys farm or physiology and pharmacology this was a bit of a weird one because this is basically where they show us the drugs and how to like I'll give you an example like how to administer like inhalers and um, use stethoscopes we also got to use ECGs and stuff like that there's obviously you're going to learn about this more when you go in clinical years into hospitals I'm assuming next we're gonna gonna go on to placements so a few times a semester I'd say about four or five we would be sent usually in PBL groups to hospitals to have that spend the day there or GP practices and we would in the first semester I think it was quite just relaxed you just go and talk to a few patients but I think as in the later semesters or in second year you did have to get some things signed off uh, but that wasn't too bad so all that kind of prepares you for exams everything I've talked to but there are also other things you've got to do throughout the year to pass the year Otherwise, you have to do resets and stuff. Uh, one of them is called PEP. It's something really annoying uh, that I definitely wasn't a fan of. A project you've got to do throughout the year. Usually, it's in the last semester of the year. So, first year, we had to do a group poster and then a small, like, um, we had to do a write up about the part of the poster we contributed to. It's about, it wasn't too long, it was about 2,000 words, but in, um, in the second semester of second year we had to do like a dissertation which I absolutely hated I am really crap at like writing so I didn't enjoy that at all but you also have something called a portfolio that I believe every medical student needs it's where you basically log down everything you've learnt like if it was taking blood pressure and then you do it you give like examples of when you practiced it on patients and so it's just basically logging everything you do um, but that actually gets assessed in both first and second year but I believe it's more important in second year when it gets assessed because you actually need to pass it to progress into third year so you just keep on top of your portfolio that's that's good advice you also have a few sessions in this thing called EBM which is evidence-based medicine where they teach you basically just how to search clinical studies just to get first-hand information and that's pretty much it to be honest um, first semester is not too stressful uh, it does ramp up in second and second year but I'll be doing a video on second year and third year and anything so if you've got any videos you want me to make 
leave them in the comment section. I'll get around to them at some point. And don't forget to subscribe and like, because I need, I need to get to five subscribers. I'm on two, I'm on two subscribers at the moment. I'll see you guys in my next video.